In John 1837, the Bible says, You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. And our question is, were you saying that you were a king? Well, the problem with the Bible in this verse is that many different translations have many different ways of saying the verse. So one way that this, the New International Version says, you are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, you are right in saying I am a king. So he's saying, it's actually the, the implication there is that I am saying that Pilate is right when he said that I was a king, yes. right? Um, the reality is Pilate, said, Pilate accused me of saying that I was a king, but I never answered the question. That's what actually happened. Mm -hmm. But of course, just a few words here and there can completely change the meaning of the text. Yes. And the copyists of the Bible have been able to insert a few words here and there with very little, with, a, with much impunity, of course, and, and as a result, completely change the meaning of the text. This discussion I had with Pilate, I was there, I know what happened. <laughs> I did not say I was a king. Right? I've never said that I was a king. I said that I was going to be the leader of the celestial kingdom. I said that I, you know, that I was because I was the first person to enter it. Mm -hmm. And I, in fact, created it through entering it first. So I created the celestial kingdom, but I always viewed God as the king. Mm -hmm. God is always my king. And God is always everyone's king, whether they recognise God as king or not. The real point of the verse and the real point of what I said to him is that, in fact, for this reason I was born and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. I wasn't saying I came into the world and was born to be a king. I was saying I came into the world and was born to testify to divine truth, to testify to what God's truth is. Yeah. That was the main point of the verse. The reality is I do not ever wish to be king, right? The Bible is quite plain, in fact, about that, and we'll discuss that in perhaps another FAQ. But I don't want to be a king. I came to testify to the truth of God, and through the connection with, that I had with God, I could easily say that everyone who listens to my voice is going to benefit from what they hear. And I believe that completely now, otherwise I wouldn't be speaking. <laughs> Anybody who listens to what I was talking about is the truth, will benefit greatly through what they hear, if they, particularly if they apply the things that I'm teaching. So, so that has never changed in the last 2,000 years. I came to be the messenger of truth, not to be a king. God is king and therefore is no need for me to become a king. There's no way that I ever wish to set myself up in opposition or in a, as a subordinate position to God with regard to kingship. And in fact, if a person reflects upon the Old Testament, they would realise that all the way through the Old Testament, there was the times when the Jews viewed God as their king and then they wanted an earthly king. And if they reflect upon Samuel's words, they realise that Samuel was saying to them, look, you, re you want an earthly king because you don't accept God's kingship. Mm. And many of my disciples in the first century wanted me to be king. They wanted the Messiah to be a king because they could not personally accept God's kingship in, in their life. They could not personally have this personal, they did not have this personal relationship with God in, where, in which they accepted God as their king rather than trying to accept some other human as their king. Now, all I am is a human. I am a brother. How can I be a king over anyone when all I am is your brother? It's impossible for me to accept any kingship from anyone. <laughs> and, and the reality is if God gave it to me, I still could not accept it because I am not. I'm just a brother, you know. God is the king. And I know from my experience with God that God is never going to offer me kingship of anything because I am just the brother of every person on the planet and every person who's ever lived. It's a very common uh, sort of imagery or um, analogy that's used around your identity, isn't it? Mm -hmm. King or prince. Mm -hmm. um, and it's referenced at other points in the Bible, is it? Yes, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And there, there are certain things of which I am the prince or that I am a messenger of truth, but, my, but not in regard to political rulership. Um, 
and we'll, and I feel we need to discuss political rulership in more detail. Yeah. But uh, I, and perhaps in in one of the other FAQs on these subjects, we'll go through this issue of political rulership and and you know what what my opinion of political rulership. Sure. Mm. Great.